right now on Cal TV Election Desk. The advice from President Trump that might land you in jail. One city, two different messages. Both presidential candidates head to Kenosha. Good evening and welcome back to Cal TV Election Desk. I'm your host, Laylee Ipsa. It has been more than a week since 29-year-old Jacob Blake was shot in the back seven times by police officers. And as he begins his long road to recovery, President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden made campaign stops in his city. Let's break down their visits because there are stark contrasts. President Trump was there first. He did not meet with Jacob Blake's family. Rather, he focused his attention on street violence. He toured buildings that had been burned down and met with law enforcement, praising them for keeping the streets safe. Whereas on the other hand, former Vice President Joe Biden actually did meet with Jacob Blake's family. He even talked to Blake himself over the phone. And then later on in the day, he held a meeting with community leaders and really focused his attention on laying out his approach to racial injustice. President Trump also making a campaign stop in North Carolina where he unleashed more attacks on mail-in voting. This is what he had to say to supporters. Send it in early and then go and vote. And if it's not tabulated, you vote and the vote is going to count. You can't let them take your vote away. These people are playing dirty politics. Okay, so here's why you shouldn't do that. Number one, it's illegal. You cannot vote twice in an election. In most states, that's actually considered a felony. And number two, in many states, election leaders don't actually start counting mail-in ballots until election day or the days after it. So they might not even have the answers to your questions, but rather than potentially committing a crime, in many states, you can actually track your mail-in ballots online. But President Trump isn't alone in raising suspicions about the upcoming election. A new Cal TV poll shows that 83% of people that responded are also concerned. The number one reason why? Mail-in voting. And we've been talking about mail-in voting for a while, but there is nothing to be scared about. The best piece of advice that election leaders are giving us is to mail your ballot back as soon as possible. And if you're one of those states where you can track your ballot online, then do it. Stay on top of your ballot. But if you're still concerned that maybe your ballot might not make it in time, in most states, you can actually drop your ballot off at your local election office. All right, that's going to do it for me today. I'm Laylee Ipsa, and have a safe Labor Day weekend. I'll see you Wednesday for another episode of Cal TV Election Desk.